Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for April 11th. April 11th is the 101st day in the Gregorian calendar, 102nd in leap years, with 264 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is bibliolater. Bibliolater. Yeah, oh, bibliolater. Another book-related word. Bibliolater is a person who is passionately enthusiastic about books. A bibliolater is also defined as a worshiper of books, especially the Bible. A bibliolater can also be a person who interprets the Bible to an extremely literal level. This word comes to us from Greek words that mean book and worship. I'd like to take a moment to remind you that links to my research are included in the show notes. Ask you to go ahead and click that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Be sure and stay to the end for outtakes and let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Remember that you can share this video with others with a, a link at an email or on social media. And with that, we're going to start in the year 1814. On April 11th, 1814, Napoleon Bonaparte, Emperor of France, Emperor of France, <laughs> and one of the greatest military leaders in history, abdicated the throne and in the Treaty of Fontainebleau was banished to the Mediterranean Isle of Elba. Henry Ford married Clara Jane Bryant on April 11, 1888. He was 24, she was just turning 22. Turns out they were a good match. On their 50th anniversary, he said that the greatest day of his life was the day he married Mrs. Ford. This is the birthday of American actress Louise Lasser, born April 11th, 1939. If you remember her at all, it's probably for her portrayal of Mary Hartman in the satirical soap opera, Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman. <laughs> this ran for just shy of a year and a half from January of 1976 to May of 1977. Still alive as I read this, Louise Lasser turns 81 in 2020. This is the birthday of American author Thomas Harris, born April 11th, 1940. He's the fellow that wrote The Silence of the Lambs, along with all those Hannibal Lecter books. Fascinating reads. The American Third Army liberated the Buchenwald concentration camp on April 11th, 1945. Buchenwald was ultimately judged second only to Auschwitz in the horrors it imposed upon its prisoners. Bob Dylan played his first major gig in New York City on April 11, 1961. On April 11, 1968, President Lyndon B. Johnson signed the Civil Rights Act of 1968, prohibiting discrimination in the sale, rental, and financing of housing. Apollo 13 launched to the moon on April 11, 1970, the Apple I computer was released on April 11, 1976. On April 11, 1979, Ugandan dictator Idi Amin was overthrown. Cher won a Best Actress Award for her role in Moonstruck on April 11, 1988. Some pretty funny scenes in that movie, Moonstruck. The amazing and prolific author Kurt Vonnegut died on this day in 2007. He was 84. And that's all I have for you today. As always, links to my research is included in the show notes. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks again and I'll see you next time. To the Mediterranean. Oh, good grief. All right, where are we now? I don't remember where we were, so we'll just start that one over. We'll start from the beginning. And yeah, we'll probably leave that part out. <laughs> I don't know how all that's going to go together, or if it's even going to make it to the video. We'll just see. That's not going to go. Yeah, we're going to cut those out. That'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. <laughs> So I'll just do that whole thing over. 
that might not make it into the video, we'll see. Changing it up. <laughs>